Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri and today we are going to talk about time series and how to learn it better here. So I have a video series, I'll put a link below. Um, I try to cover it from the position of basic analytics, like not actual modeling, but how we do things analytically and then how we go from an analytic perspective into a modeling perspective. And unfortunately, I got to the end of the series of the videos I never finished up. Uh, the correct solution for weather modeling because the data is so noisy. Uh, there's smoothing techniques you can use. Maybe I'll finish those videos at some point. Um, but it gives you kind of an idea of how I go about fitting models. Talks about the basic concepts like autoregressive models, moving average models, and then tying all these kind of concepts together here. But today we're going to talk about if I was to relearn time series from the ground up, these are the books I would buy and these are kind of the resources I would use as well. Because um, you'll see here I have a website I absolutely love and it got taken down for a while and I was just devastated. Uh, but luckily I'd printed a lot of the website in itself. Uh, but I'll mention that as well and I'll link that below. Uh, but if you're going to start off with time series and modeling in general, uh, my absolute favorite book, you can't go wrong with it, is going to be Introductory Econometrics, A Modern Approach uh, by Jeffrey Waldridge. Now, I hope you guys see as you watch all of my videos, this book keeps coming up because this book is massive. Um, so I have two versions of this. I have one at the office for my employees and other staff to use and colleagues and whatnot. And then I have, this is Mike, my personal copy. And it's got all the highlighting in it. Um, but in my copy, uh, the blue is going to be what are considered the advanced topics. Um, advanced topics will cover basics of time series. So like ARIMA style, style models, um, talks about things like stationarity testing. And this book also covers like panel data, I've only had to use a panel uh, model structure once in my career. But again, this book, I just, I really like it. Um, so on the ranking scale here, talking a little bit about this, this is an official review, even though I've done a review on this book, which I'll link below as well. This book is perfect. This is the general introductory book. Like this is just gonna give you enough to get going. It's gonna give you the basic ideas, the principles, and it's going to do a good enough job that I think, and there are enough other topics and chapters that as you read this, you're gonna get kind of that broad perspective and picture of what are we trying to do? What problems are we trying to solve? And then you can kind of go from there and look up a little bit of extra tidbits here and there. So this book again is my, my favorite. I think it's just a good solid book for time series modeling from an introductory perspective. Um, that being said though, if you're going to want something that's a little more applied to quantitative finance. So this one is applied to economics. Uh, I think this book is very academic. It is a generalist book in the sense it's going to cover a wide range of topics uh, with good applications. I use this my entire career as a good reference. Um, I use it for CCAR modeling, time series modeling, OLS, all sorts of like linear regressions, uh, SEM, so simultaneous uh, estimation models, something like that. Um, so this book, I think in general is a good resource, but it does have a really, really good section on time series. And I think this is the best place to start. Now, if you're gonna support that as well, I'll put a link on my website, but I believe it is Duke's website. They synthesize down uh, the time series even further into the equations and the parts, and they just discuss uh, each part, like the moving average parts of models. So use the box Jenk Jenkins approach, which is what I like to use. Um, but it will give you kind of the parts and pieces and how to put them together and how the sorts of different models uh, and structures and definitions are different there. It is free. I'll link that up below as well. It's on my website as well. If you go to my website, uh, I think it's like resources or education or something. You drop down and hit free. Uh, there's a section there in Dukes. This is the only website for time series that I will ever trust. The only one. Okay. Uh, maybe a new great one will come out, but all the other free resources online are mostly wrong. And what I mean is they're like 90-ish percent correct, a lot of them. And then the 10% that they're wrong on is something absolutely critical for making your model work. Um, so I would recommend, again, using Duke's websites and then starting off with uh, the Econometrics book. Now, if you're going to say, Dimitri, I don't really want an econometrics book. I really want something really applied to quantitative finance, and I'm really a person that wants to program. Um, the other book I would use if you don't want to get the econometrics book would be uh, Statistical Analysis of Financial Data in R. It's by Rene Carmona. Uh, this is the book I learned from. So hold on. This is the book I learned from. Uh, so this is the exact same book. This is Statistical Analysis of Financial Data in S+, plus, which is the original language before R. Uh, anyways, this book is the same. I believe this one looks a little thicker. I don't, 
I don't know if it's been revamped or more code's been added, uh, but this one's gonna show you how to do it in R. This book is excellent. Again, it has more of an application though, and R doesn't have, um, it's not as in depth mathematically, but it does have a lot of the theory in there. And for me, this was a good starting foundation for time series. Now, the intermediary book, the one I recommend for most of you to get is going to be called Analysis of Financial Time Series, third edition by Say. I've been reading it. I love it. Um, on the spectrum of general to specialist, I would say this is like a graduate level text. Um, it's more towards the middle. It's not a generalist book. It's not a specialist book, but it still leans more towards the generalist. It covers things like factor models and time series and Edo's lemma and how that times into the time series spectrum here. Uh, this book I would buy as the secondary book of like you want to get to that intermediate level. For most of you, I would stop there. Okay. And then finally, if you want to be an expert on this and you want to get into the nuanced mathematical details, um, then I would finally buy a time series analysis by James Hamilton. This is kind of the Bible of it. This has a lot of math. Um, I have used this in the issues with estimation of different parts of ARIMA models. So it's not quite as simple and straightforward as you might think. There is a ton of mathematics behind it. Um, this book is nearly 800 pages, and this just focuses in on uh, the mathematics behind a lot of these basic kind of box jinx and structures of time series modeling. Again, I haven't gone through all of this book, um, but if you open it up, I've got like a, a Christmas card in here. I've got highlights too, because I've actually used this book uh, for getting into issues with like model estimations, invertibility within matrix matrices, and other kind of like really important critical details if you want to really dig deep. Um, but most of you are not going to need this. This is pretty advanced. Uh, most of you for a job are going to need this uh, time series analysis book here by say. So anyways, those are my three recommendations. Beginner level entry with the website. I use them all the time to reference back on when I need to. Um, again, the analysis of financial time series by say is like the intermediary book. That one's excellent. I recommend that for most of you just to get to that point. Excellent book for grad school. Many programs use it. You will keep going back to that one as well. And then finally, if you want to get really hardcore into the time series space, finally, I would just get into this time series analysis here uh, by James Hamilton. So anyways, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. If you like this review, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Share it on LinkedIn. Share it on Twitter. It does a big help for me. Uh, but anyways, until next time.